Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Please, if you haven't done so already, subscribe. So I'm still feeling a little bit gutted uh, following the last video when it looked like we'd made some really good progress only to find that the gearbox was uh, locked up because I'd put it back together incorrectly. So what I'm gonna do today, strip the engine back down and try and get the gearbox to work properly. I'll put you on time-lapse but I'll also put a timestamp in on the uh, video in case you just want to skip through that to see how we get on. Objectives really today are to strip it down, obviously get the gearbox working, um, and then do another leak down test. And luckily I do have some spare gaskets and see if I can get the timing set up. Um, I've got a gauge so that I can try and get it spot on so many of you have said that that was probably the reason the engine blew in the first place um, other jobs to do if i get time will be to take a look at the carburetors double check the float heights and possibly rejet it to a larger size as well uh, to try and richen up that mixture a little bit more anyway let's crack on with it oh taking off the clutch basket yet again very familiar territory Getting quite quick at doing it now though. Luckily I found the problem quite easily. Um, that selector fork there, I got in between here and that's what was causing the problem. So that selector fork is now in the right place, as is this one as is this one, and finally the one there next to it. So now I've got neutral. You can see that the sprocket isn't turning, yet the clutch gearbox, and obviously the engine if it's running, would be. Let's go for a gear. Now we've selected a gear. And it turns beautifully. Okay, let's clean up the two cases, reseal it and put it back together. So I've cleaned up the mating surfaces on both sides of the uh, crack halves. Now, you might be wondering why I've left the pistons on. Um, it's because I don't have any more gudgeon pin circlips and to my mind these things are one use only so what I did was took the piston rings off and then the pistons would pass through the top half of the crankcase so we're all nice and clean and I shall now put the two halves together and put some sealant on I haven't filmed absolutely everything this time because um, you've seen it in the previous video so uh, that's the engine cases the two halves together and now I'm just going to go around putting in all of the nuts and bolts give it a tighten and then double check that the gearbox is still doing what it should do and I haven't got it wrong again Okay, this time I want to test the gearbox before I go any further. The nuts are tightened up, but they're not torqued down, they're just over finger tight. So we're in six. Fifth, fourth, third, second, neutral. Is it first? No, that's first. Okay. No oil in it, it's not running, it's not warm. I expect it to be a little bit 
notchy, I'm going to go with that. Okay, let's talk everything down. Okay, just checked on the RD Air Cooled Forum. Uh, £8 max on these and £15 max on the bottom. Okay, and put the piston rings back on and the cylinders back on. As before, we've got a nice ooze of sealant all the way around. Yeah, happy with that. And more or less back to where we were 24 hours ago. Uh, still got the clutch basket. Uh, to put on, but I think now I'm going to um, I'm going to try a leak down test. Okay, we should be ready to do a leak down test. That's coming out the exhaust port. Okay, new piece of rubber in there, slightly bigger. That's point six bar. Needles not moving. Just leave it for a minute and come back and check it. Okay, that's been a couple of minutes. Listen carefully. Yep, that's holding pressure. Good, I can carry on, put the clutch basket back in, double check that the gears are still there, and then make a start on the timing. Let's check the gearbox again. I've got neutral, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So here's the uh, dial gauge to find two mil before top dead center. I got it from Yambits, and it doesn't come with any instructions. But I'm guessing something has to connect to the spark plug hole and something goes down to the top of the piston and pushes on this. Okay. Right. Give me a minute. I need practice before I uh, commit to film. So all of these bits have to be joined together. For this to be to sit in here, so this bit goes down. Now, which way round does it go? Should there be something on the end of that thread? Slowly getting there, I realise that that tip unscrews and that this bit goes in. Okay, so I've got the gauge fixed in position. I've got the bike in first gear. So I've got the engine in first gear. And that way I can be sure that I know which way round the engine turns so that I get two mil before top dead center rather than two mil after top dead center. Whether it's this kit, my bike, me not knowing how to use it, I don't know. But I've been trying with it and the piston will come up and take it to top dead center, but it will only show me 1.3 mil. If this bit isn't long enough. So what I'm gonna to have to do is just unscrew it a little bit so that it picks up the piston earlier and then I can 
wind it back two mil. Okay, so we zoomed in. I'll try and do it without blocking the camera too much. Bike, the engine is in gear. So I know which way I've got to turn the clutch basket to turn the crank in the right direction. So I'm looking for that needle to move, which lets me know it's picking up the piston. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Back, back, back. There. Okay. So I'm going to watch that needle until it stops moving. Then I know I'm at top dead centre there. So I zero, zero that in. And now I'll go back two mil, so two turns. One. Two. That should be two mil before top dead centre. Am I right? I hope so. I'm just going to mark it. I said to you that I'm waiting for a new plate, but what I'm going to do is just mark it here on the crankshaft. It gives me a starter for 10 when that new plate comes. So there's the engine largely reassembled. And the good thing is no nuts, bolts, washers, springs, circuits left over. So it must all still be in there, including this and the tiny ball bearing that lives inside. We're waiting on a new one of these, but we've got the timing roughly marked up. So I'm just waiting on the base plate from Vape. I have to reset the ignition um, when I've got the sensor in, but today gave me a sort of a dummy run of how to do it uh, using the uh, dial gauge. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, certainly been burning the midnight oil uh, today to get the uh, engine back as you see it. A uh, few more little jobs to do before I can put it back in the frame. Uh, obviously the ignition being the main one. Once that's done and I've timed it up out of the bike with the gauge again, having had a practice with it today, um, we'll see about getting it running. And uh, then after that, all the uh, shenanigans of getting the calves balanced and the mixture right. And hopefully not holding a piston. Now I've got a few family commitments coming up. So it might be a minute before the next video uh, comes out when you actually see it running. I'm not doing it deliberately to draw it out. I'm kind of doing it real time. And I want to get that thing running more desperately than you do. Anyway, please like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one.